Volcanoes are cracks in the Earth's surface where molten rock can escape. Here at Lassen Volcanic National Park, you can visit four of the major types of volcanoes. Let's take a look. The Earth is divided into large areas called tectonic plates. If two of these plates collide and the denser plate goes underneath the less dense plate, it's called subduction. This is what happened between the more dense North American continental plate and the less dense oceanic Juan de Fuca plate. This subduction resulted in the creation of Lassen Volcanic National Park and its volcanoes. As the subducting plate transports water and rock into the earth, the magma mixes with the water and becomes more buoyant, so it rises to the surface and forms volcanoes. A good indicator for volcanic activity is looking for hydrothermal features. For example, behind me is a fumarole, which is made from hot steam escaping through cracks in the earth. Another hydrothermal feature is a hot spring. Hot springs are natural collections of geothermally heated water. Because the magma is close to the Earth's surface, the water here can be incredibly hot. And here we have a geyser. Geysers are hot springs which intermittently send columns of steam and hot water into the air. Here we have an example of a mud pot. They're basically a hot spring with a higher concentration of mud and minerals. There are many factors that can affect how a volcano forms, which can end up making different kinds of volcanoes. Some of these factors include the viscosity of the magma, the amount of gas in the magma, the composition of the magma, and the way in which the magma reaches the surface. Each of these factors can completely change the landscape and shape how the volcano looks and forms. There are four major types of volcanoes, shield, composite, cinder cone, and lava dome. Let's take a look at each of these types. Here we are at Raker Peak. Raker Peak is an example of a shield volcano. Shield volcanoes form when lava flows very quickly from its source and it hardens far away from the cone itself. Here we are at Brokoff Mountain in Lassen Volcanic National Park. This is an example of a stratovolcano, also known as a composite volcano. Composite volcanoes are called composite because they're made of different parts. And this one here, you can tell it's a stratovolcano because of its shape. They typically have that volcanic shape with very steep slopes, and they were built from volcanic ash. Behind me is Hat Mountain, which is an example of a cinder cone volcano. Cinder cones are formed when ash and material from previous eruptions have built up over time and formed a cylindrical shape. Here we are at Lassen Peak. Lassen Peak is an example of a plug dome volcano, also known as a lava dome volcano. Lava domes are formed 
when lava at the surface can't go too far from the source, so it continues to pile up until it spills over the side of the vent. Hiking up Lassen Peak was one of the hardest hikes I've ever done, but it was totally worth it for the beautiful views at the top. And we had some fun on the way back down. Volcanoes are very interesting rock formations, and we continue to study them to learn more about how our Earth works.